the mischievous Minecraft noob. They roam our virtual landscape, leaving a trail of destruction. Prepare for frustration as they unleash havoc, breaking blocks, setting fires, and defacing your creation. Watch till the end of this video to see the best way that I deal with Minecraft noobs. We all know how noobs can be a real bad luck jar. They're always around blowing stuff up and getting into trouble. In fact, I wouldn't even call it bad luck. They're just so noobish that everything's a mess when they're around. But sometimes they do more than annoy you. Sometimes they can get you killed. So this is a public service announcement. It's time we talk about 27 ways noobs can get you killed in Minecraft. Now, one of those noob things is by not subscribing and liking today's video. Yeah, I know, maybe that won't get you killed in your game but it's totally a noob thing to do so click that subscribe button guys number one blowing you up by mistake this happens quite often unfortunately but stay away if you see a noob laying down some tnt charges they never really get the hang of it and you'll be blown away by their clumsy little hands <laughs> number two messing with a beehive so you might have a noob friend and you want to teach him a thing or two. Well, that's real nice of you. But I must warn you, don't get them near beehives. Everyone knows you're not supposed to mess with beehives, but noobs have to learn this the hard way. So be aware of the bees if you go on a stroll with a noob friend. Number three, receiving falling anvils in noob house. Now, noobs are not only clumsy, but forgetful, too. They are known to leave things around and building around them without remembering what they left behind in the first place. So if you're in a noob house and you see some ceiling where it shouldn't be, uh, don't, don't destroy it. Yikes, yes, uh, there might be an anvil laying around that, that will kill you. Number four, burning you with lava. We've already talked about how noobs sometimes build weird things into their homes or forget what they put there. Now, I don't want to be repetitive, but be careful when you're around their homes because those things are death traps just waiting to be sprung. Number five, setting you on fire while mining. Um, what? I've talked about this before, but for some reason, some noobs don't seem to get it that you need to take a torch when you're mining. Not only that, but you don't bring flint and steel to start a fire down there. Anyway, if you join your noob friend for a good old mining trip, don't be shocked if he sets you on fire on accident. Number six, making you stay outside at night. I know you want to keep helping out your noob and teaching him stuff, but they tend to forget how the game works sometimes. As you already know, you're supposed to sleep in your bed and spend the night at home or get some armor on and get a little brave with your weapons and stuff. So let's say your noob is really eager to keep mining and just doesn't listen to you when you tell him it's late and you need to go home. You weren't planning on spending the night and you didn't even bring armor. Well, next time, just leave him behind or come armored to the teeth. Helping them is great, but not if you're the one that's gonna end up dead. Number seven, making you drown. You all know that not drowning in the game is as easy as just coming out of the water. But some noobs don't seem to understand that you can actually die like that. So he might try to keep you underwater and tease you, you know, some friendly prank. But he'll end up killing you instead. So please don't let him. It's just embarrassing and it makes you look like the noob. Number eight, messing around with your minecarts. Okay, so maybe you're still in the mood to teach your noob a thing or two. You teach him how to build a railway and you explain how the minecarts work. Bad mistake, like, like really bad, like no, 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 no. Next thing you know, this noob is trying to prank you by sending minecarts loaded with TNT. And yes, for some reason, this might seem as a victimless joke for the noob, but it'll blow you to pieces by mistake, along with your rails and all your loot. Number nine, suffocating you. So you bring your noob friend to the beach and you're just chilling, you know, building a nice beach house. And then all of a sudden he decides to start a sand fight and throws a bunch of sand to you. This noob is so noobish that he does doesn't understand that it's literally killing you. It might be funny if it happened to someone else. I mean, I mean, come to think of it, maybe you should get somewhere else for your noob to get killed by accident. That's just comedy gold in my opinion. It might be funny if it happened to someone else. I mean, hmm, come to think of it, maybe you should get someone else for your noob to kill by accident. 
That's just comedy gold, in my opinion. Number 10, messing around with fishing rods. Teach a man to fish and he'll eat his whole life, they said. Well, they never met your noob friend, did they? Seeing him figuring a fishing rod out is really fun until they begin hooking everything they see with the rod. Be careful if you see a noob with a fishing rod because they can end up hooking you by mistake and pushing you over the ledge. Ah, this is ridiculous. Number 11, pushing you towards the cacti. One thing you must know by now is noobs are way too clumsy. One day you might find yourself fighting an Enderman with your noob because he kept staring and made them hostile, and maybe you win that battle, but you get hurt. And in that moment, your noob decides to push you into some cacti because it's funny. If that happens, you're as good as dead. Dude. Number 12, bringing creepers your way. Noobs learn the hard way that you shouldn't be near creepers. Anyway, sometimes these noobs that you think are your friends can bring your way to a bunch of creepers, blowing you and your beautiful crops to pieces. What a shame. Number 13, distracting you on chat. So noobs may have many ways to get you killed even without being in the same place. One of those things they like to do is blow up your chat. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 And yes, it's okay. We were all noobs once and, you know, I get it. But that can be very distracting and can get you killed. Like that. Just like that. Number 14, celebrating New Year's a little too close. I know this one might sound a little bit weird to you, but it's it's legit. In New Year's Eve, these noobs get all crazy and start messing around with fireworks, and then, well, <laughs> when you least expect it, yep, they can kill you if they shot it with a crossbow. This doesn't just apply to New Year's, though. To be honest, just run away if you see a noob playing with fireworks. Number 15, with explosive box trap. The downside of teaching cool tricks and things to noobs is they can use them against you because they get so excited once they learn to do something. Anyway, if you teach your noob friend how to build an explosive box trap, don't act shocked if he decides to use it against you, like a ton of times, like like every day, and never, never stops. Number 16, attacking you with a wolf pack. I know what you're thinking. Noobs are too silly to tame a pack of wolves. I mean, come on. But it's happened before. If you find yourself near a noob who happens to have a pack of wolves, just turn around and run away before they smell your fear. Or before your noob friend hits you, setting the whole pack on you by accident. Or not. At least just try to run away. Number 17, throwing you poison instead of a healing potion. Say you're out with the noob. You're still teaching them a couple of things and you run into some mobs. You fight them off, but you're weak and you need some healing potion ASAP. Well, make sure you state it clearly what you want because if you ask for potion and this noob throws you some poison, killing you at once. I swear, it's like they don't even try to understand sometimes. They just don't really understand. It's probably just like going through one ear, coming out the other. Number 18 pushing you into lava. If you're fighting off mobs with your noob pal, make sure you're not standing next to lava by any chance. I mean, please. Unfortunately, it's quite possible that the noob goes crazy trying to fight off this mob and ends up accidentally pushing you into the lava. Ah, so clumsy. Number 19, playing with TNT. TNT is the coolest thing in the world for noobs. And let's face it, it's easy to get out of hands trying to get the hang of it. So you might teach your noob how to use TNT, but it's likely that he'll end up using much more than what they needed, blowing you up in the process along with everything around you. Number 20, setting sand traps everywhere. Just for fun, some of these noobs will set sand booby traps all over the map. If you then take into account, most of them will just simply forget about it and, you know, set them up and, oh geez, this is just a recipe for trouble. When you're walking to your house or to the mines, wherever you're really walking, really, always check the ground for where you're standing. And as a pro, you should always keep an eye out for those things. But well, we all make mistakes just like I did. Time I fell on one of those traps. Ugh. Number 21, trying to steal a polar bear cub. Don't ask me why, but some noobs will try to make pets out of everything they see in the game. I even saw one trying to hug a creeper. Are you kidding me? Polar bear cubs are really cute and you know, I'll admit it, but they are not pets. You gotta remember, this is still a bear. So if your noob friend goes to catch one to tame it, you better run away. If you stay trying to help this noob, you'll also get attacked by the polar bears. So nope, <laughs> these are not pets. 
Number 22, inviting you to mine with them. Yes, yeah, sure, mining is fun and going out in the caves with your friends is even better unless your friend is a noob. Maybe you don't run into this problem while in the cave, but there's a chance that the noob will start digging straight up to find something more to mine. He then finds a lava pit and ends up dead, and you do too. But let's face it, it's kind of your fault. You should be more alert when hanging around a noob. Number 23, setting you on fire instead of giving you fire resistance. Oh, jeez. Let's say you're with the noob down in the nether. <laughs> wow, he actually made it that far. And an unfortunate turn of events and you get caught between a fire and some lava. And if you don't receive some fire resistance potions, you're over. Luckily, you had the good sense to brew some. The bad news is you gave it to your noob friend. And instead of throwing you that fire resistance potion, he throws you fire. Yep. This is, uh, this is a true story, by the way. Number 24, dragging you into a noob fight. This is a very nasty way to get killed. You might have heard of noob wars. They fight for land, territory, noob right. Basically to see who is the coolest noob of noobs. And while the fights can seem a little bit dumb, these noobs fight to the death. And they don't care if they take someone out with them. Respect these noob wars and stay out of harm's way. Number 25, driving you nuts. So this is a way that doesn't happen so often. And if you sense that it could happen to you, be strong, my friend. Sometimes there's a clingy noob that latches onto you, following you around to check on your every move and copy you. You can take it as a compliment, but it's actually quite annoying. And while I don't condone this kind of behavior, some players have dealt with it by jumping off a cliff. But like, tr try to avoid that. It, it makes no sense to do that. Number 26, leaving the door to your base open. This one has happened to me before and it's really annoying. Say you invited a noob over to your base to hang out or who knows. Whenever they leave, make sure they close the door behind them. This is a very common mistake noobs make, leaving doors wide open. Anyway, next thing you know, there's a bunch of creepers inside your base and boom, you know what happens next. So just show your friend his way out if he drops by to a visit. Number 27 killing you. So we've covered some of the ways these noobs can get you killed in the game. There's only one left and that is, well, killing you. Not much to it. They can kill you if they want and if they feel like it. However, if you consider yourself a pro, it's kind of your job to do the best and avoid getting killed by this noob. You gotta admit that's kind of embarrassing. All right, yo, let's just start this, dude. So basically, guys, we're playing hide and seek. It's pretty simple. I've never played this before. We've never played this before. So we have no idea how it's gonna work. Seeker. Oh, I'm the seeker. You know. So I'm in the Big waiting lobby right now. On. So I'm gonna wait for you guys to hide. 20 okay. seconds, you knobs! We're gonna have come and find on. you and eat your face. We're invisible. So we're hiding. Oh, you're invisible? Oh, oh no! Oh no! Alright, oh, give, give us a chance. Give us a chance. Oh. I ain't giving you no ah. chance, boo. Think I'm gonna give okay. you a Do chance. Not move, dog. Don't move, man. Wait, Nate. Oh! George! Why are you hiding there? That's why I ask you why are you hiding there. Yeah. Yo, George. I think someone's in here. Is there anyone in the door? Oh, oh. No, I, was, I was gonna, I was gonna hide there. It's, your imaginary, it's your shark's imaginary girlfriend there. <laughs> Bertha, huh? Bertha, is that right? We're invisible, but with leather armor on. It is not what it looks like. It is not. It is not, not what, what it looks, looks like. like, huh? Not what it looks like. Not what it looks like. Come here, buddy. Come here. I'm right behind you. I'll tell you where the shark is. I know where the shark is. Who's right next to me? If I'm, you, if you, I got him, oh, I got him. You got right. Oh wait, okay. that was Moose. Oh. All right guys, I'm hiding. I have wait, a really good spot. What is that? You guys are so far <gasps> from I me. I killed you. How? <laughs> How did I kill you? Wait, what? <laughs> I, uh... Hey! Oh, oh, oh. I, I, I can try to respawn. Oh. Let me see. Let me see. It might okay. broke the game. Oh, flip! Yep. I'm visible! Hide from the seeker. I'm visible! Wait, now I'm a hey, hider. We oh, broke the map. Oh, hey! Hey! Get back here, back here thick boy! Ah. Oh, yeah, we broke the map. We'll be right yeah, we broke the map. We broke the map. We'll be right back. We'll be right back at this commercial break. We'll be right back. All right. Yo, I'm a seeker. I. I. Okay, so what do you do? You put gold in here and then you get. So, yeah, you guys get pretty much cool power ups, and I'm just gonna chill in here as the seeker as I wait right, for bro. you guys. Okay, Yo, where, was that, right. where was that hiding spot, by the way, guys? Wait, behind the waterfall. One? I'm gonna check there first, so don't even try. No, I'm not going behind the waterfall. It's a pretty sketch area. Um, Yo, yeah, what? How'd you get here? There's no good hiding in here. I'm coming! Yo, how'd you get here? Yo, shift, shift, bro. I don't think you can see yeah, anything. Yeah, shift, anyway. bro, bro. What is Do this? It. 
Oh, Wait, Shark, can oh, you see? Crow. I was never able no, no, to see I, y'all's I name tags. I, no, 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 I can't, I can't see your no. name tags. You're good. This is a All terrible right, spot, so by the way. This is absolutely um, terrible. No, it's not. The question is, is oh, where? Horrifying. The question is, who cares? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> okay, hey, guys, fine. frog legs here. Okay, here, give me this hint. Are you in that, are you in that waterfall that I was at? Yeah, I was there. Uh, yeah, cool. dude, I might be in there, you know. <laughs> yes, you bro. Yo, yo, if you go up there, I'm going to punch you up just so you know. I see you, Shark boy. No, you don't. You're, um, I, not, not, I don't know, man. I'm just messing with you. I don't actually see you. Okay, uh, I need to find Shark. an air. I would give you a hint. A hint, a hint, a hint. A hint. Oh, ow! What the Do you want a hint? Do you want ow! a hint? Yeah, I want a hint. Give me a hint. Give me a hint. <laughs> We're just punching you. You don't get a hint, you nub. Guys, just give me a flipping hint, okay? I gave All you right. a What has two eyes and plays Minecraft? Creeper. Unspeakable. Exactly. A human. <laughs> <laughs> What's a human. All right. <laughs> I got you. Right um, this. I'll give you a hint, Shark. Ow. You're pretty close to me. You actually are. Like I can see you. Really? Like you're cute. Dude, you're like you like ten blocks away from me. Yeah, you're yeah, probably like go, fifteen. Yeah, jump in the air three times. Let me see. If that's just you. Okay. Up, jump. Uh, jump, 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 jump. Go straight. Up, wrong way. Ah. Up, wrong way. Wrong way. All right. Wrong way. Nope, you're going, going farther again. away. You're going farther away. Times. Stop, Boots. You're confusing him. Nope, 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 nope. Shark, look at him. He's there. climbing up a waterfall. He's so cute. Look at Whoa, what's this? Oh, wait, you can actually go behind the there? What the heck? Flip is this. Help! I'm in an endless loop. Help! Help! I'm stuck you back TP to Moose. TP to I Moose. Don't have OP. TP to. Oh, you're not getting OP. Guys, dog. I, not a yo, chance I'm after that, dog. Here. Hey, what's up, dude? <laughs> How did I find you that? I'm down. Let's go check yeah, let's, let's go, actually, let's go actually, laugh actually, at him. Yeah, let's go let's laugh, go laugh at, him, at him. I got you, dog. Here, guys, I legit need help. Hey, guys. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> let me see. Let me see. <laughs> I'm literally stuck here. Yeah, I can't see. Watch out. <laughs> Whoa! Why did you hit me into him? Why did you hit me into him? I literally hate you. Moose, come here. Yeah, get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Come here. Yeah. Get wrecked. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> my gosh. All right, let's take another round, hey. boys. Let's take another round. All right, guys. Uh, let's boys, get this done. I'm going to find you. I'm going to find you. And I'm going to come eat you in two seconds. All right, there we go. Seekers are released. All right, I'm going to just chill right oh. here. Oh. Oh, Someone... snap. No way. No way. Hmm. I just found the most OP spot in Minecraft. Congratulations, Minecraft. Shark. Is that going to be your video title? <laughs> yeah, you know, Dude, this is... No, you guys, you guys don't even know. <laughs> I know what okay. the spot is, dog. Don't worry, I found it before. I know what you're talking Where, about, though. Okay, okay, fine. Here, poke me on Bro, this Bro, you got all see. these what super what OP I spots. I want you to poke it to me. I want you to poke and it to me, Moose. I'm waiting for a talk. I know you don't it. know, Moose. What? Go to the graveyard. Go to the graveyard. Huh? It's where Shark yes, is. Yes, ma'am. Oh, that's I'm where he belongs. Ah, <laughs> 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 All right, Frog, Please you want to go? Please don't I'll stand up far. I don't know if I should far. press this button again. Why you tell me <laughs> to go to the graveyard, Moose Boy? Is he not there? You are lying. You lie. Wait, is he actually not there? No, <gasps> you lie. Where are you, Shark? Yo, poke you it to lie. me, Shark. Poke it to me. No, I'm not telling you. No, I don't trust you, Moose. Oh my gosh, this is the most Oh my insane. gosh! Oh, guys, let me just leave the video title 20 times, okay? Oh my gosh! Oh, no, legit, oh my legit. gosh! Moose, where are you? Moose, where are you? Actually, oh my god. This is ridiculous how OP this is. Two There's minutes until you. Yeah, I'm There's climbing up it. Okay, no, no. Uh, the other one beside you. There's one beside you. Ah, uh, maybe. Okay, I am Why? near that waterfall. I'm near that waterfall. If you can find me, I will. Legit Yo, unshift. Lose it. Shark, unshift. I'm not even shifting. What the heck was that? that? You said there's another waterfall, yeah? Oh, oh. no. I didn't even see this. Oh. <laughs> What? Yo, that's so OP! <laughs> Yo, that's so OP! What the heck? How did you find that? I don't know. I walked into a wall, and then before I knew it, I was Yo, trying by the way, to get at walking into walls, all right, bro? You're pretty good at walking into walls. Yo, so, uh, uh Moose, now, um... I don't want to say where I'm at. How you feeling? Really good spot. One minute I'm until terrified. I take an L, and I'm not taking an L, dude. I'm not taking an L. I'm down. Hey, Moose! Do you guys accept... Gotcha! <laughs> Oh, I you, you thought I was gonna take it out that episode, but no, boy! No, 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 Ain't nobody taking that L. Hey, guys, do you okay. think Minecraft ball better? blocks my car? But I took it's the my mic better. It's no, it's worse. Oh, man. Oh, it, sounds, worse. it sounds just as beautiful as you. <laughs> All right! Oh, All right! Oh, flip, this is not one. good. 
I'm coming to eat your face. Oh my gosh, what the flip? Okay. Um. Hello, warm or cold? Where am I, hey Pepsi? Guys, super, Shark super here. warm. Keep going, even um, warmer. Well, I have a funny feeling y'all are sitting around here somewhere. No, oh, man. bro, he's so close. I got a funny it. feeling that y'all are actually from Texas. Texas. Oh, that tree's on fire. Okay, let's just start a forest fire. No. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Only you can prevent wildfires. <laughs> Please, by donating, by subscribing to the, uh, to the um, squad. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, am I warm or cold to any of you guys? Uh, you're, you're getting so colder. warm that you're, you're getting tacos bro, right now. I think no, I'm serious. you Where could literally be cold? like liquid nitrogen right now. Mm -hmm. You're so cold. Are you guys down here? Hello? Are you down here, my friend? Holy Hello. snap, he's right oh. next to me. <laughs> What? Run! 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 Oh, 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 he almost got us. Yo, he what almost got God, us. Where Shark. are you? You just passed by us, dog. We're hiding underground. Wait, oh my gosh, dude. I can't believe. <laughs> How no, did you know? Right. Hello, my friend. I think I know where someone is. <sighs> no, no, no. <laughs> I, I love Shark's love. I flippin' see you! Hello, can you I don't know what you're talking about, oh, Shark. I saw someone! You don't see nothing, no. You don't see nothing! But I oh, see you, see Shark you Boy! What? I see you! I see you! You're standing on top of it! You're standing on top of a little patio. Give me a hint, where, where, where? Give me a hint. Give me a hint, you're looking the wrong way. Uh, JK. Okay. Like, Alright, gotcha. I'm next to grass. Wow. Yeah, same. Thanks, I'm next to I'm next to a tree. Okay, I'll be even more specific. I'm next to grass and grass blocks. I knew it! I flippin' knew you were an FBI Flippin' gosh dang it! Yo, you guys are not gonna uh, find me, dog. Stop kidding me! Stop! What are you doing? I'm gonna- <laughs> I can literally this just- This is no, savage. I can just- I can just kill you. Hey, Nathan. Ah, I can literally just kill you! Guys, don't kill each other! It's gonna oh, break Oh, now you're stuck up there, you know. If I kill them, he's stuck up there. Help me! I'm not- I'm not, boys! No, don't me. press that. It's I gonna break TP. the map. Don't I press- TP, please! Here, TP, TP to me. Yeah, opium, I don't opium. Have OP. Uh, do you play my? I'm not losing this one, bro. I lost twice. Ain't gonna lose three times. Well, where are you? Oh, yo, I just found the most OP spot. Oh, well. really? Thirty seconds, baby. Thirty seconds. You ain't gonna get me, man. Let's where are I am. I'm not running ground, boys. Here, look outside. Where are you? Disconnected it. Where the heck is Moose? <laughs> Go. It's not funny. Where are you at? Hi, Nathan. Behind you. What? Hi. Where were you? Where the heck were a, you, dude? I was in a waterfall. Oh, you savage. <laughs> of course. You would be in the spot where, like, you're, you're savage. Exactly. All right. <laughs> For the last round, I am the seeker. Not what that's I want to I be. Know. I kind of wanted to be a hider, but that's okay. I'll take the L for you guys because I'm going to find you guys pretty quickly, you know. You know yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm going to find you guys really quickly. Uh, you, can't, you can't hide oh, from you're me. Really gonna I'm going to find us. Uh, you know what I mean? Unspeakable. <laughs> uh, yeah, unspeakable. What just, yeah, what so, just happened? I don't, what? I don't, what, what, I don't know. What, 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 what really what, just happened? Okay. Huh? I'm confused. My computer crashing? Huh? Secrets released! <laughs> hey guys, Unspeakable Toe here. <laughs> looking for the real Moose Crave. Oh, someone be taunting me. You think you're smooth, but really you ain't. Oh, no, no, no. You have to do this. No, no, no. Back yes, in the yes. days, we didn't have no babushkas. We were all Russian family. I'm not sure where that came from, but anyways, let's keep making Minecraft. Hey, Chuck, how's it going? you doing over there, buddy? That's good, man. Do you know where I am? How you doing? Uh, pretty good, dude. I'm just, you know, looking for my friends because they all ran away from me and they're hiding. <laughs> Yeah, it's because he hates you. like a sad story of, uh, of a, a sad of a story. Dude. I don't really know what to do in life anymore. All my friends ran away from me. And they don't want to play with me no more. All my friends so now I'm trying way. to find them. I played in Minecraft. <laughs> Who lives in a barn under the sea? Unspeakable gaming. <laughs> I'm the world's best hide and seek player. You don't even know me. <gasps> Bro, are you, are you, are you playing in Minecraft? Yep. I'm the 101 hide and seek. Hello. You'll never see me. But we don't you. know your struggles, dog. I'm sorry, man. Yep. You don't know my struggles. You don't even know my struggles. I don't have struggles. You've been through a I tough win. life. I always win. I'm always a winner. I always take the W. I'll never take an L. Two minutes left. This is stressing me out. What is so funny? I hear you guys laughing like a little girl. I'm looking at you. That's why. Oh, you're so cute. I'm looking at me. What are you doing? I'm going to find you. I'm going to eat your face. 
No, don't eat my face. No, no. I, I will eat your face. So, no. so is anyone gonna like talk or like do something like? Oh, no, it's that? okay. Don't worry. Don't you worry, my friend. Um, y'all don't worry. even know where I'm at. Yeah, obviously. Otherwise, I would have found you already. Duh. Oh, oh, true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nathan, 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 Nathan. I'll give you a hint, okay? All right. I I'm am, waiting, dude. I am hiding near something that an animal eats. I just gave it away. Good night. Wait, I'm what? calling it good night. I'm at the other side of the map, Nathan, so you're a little bit far, but I mean, hey. Hiding next to something that an animal eats. <gasps> oh, I see. I see. I see. Like, what? Well, what do are, you see? I know where you are. I see. Hey. Clearly see, not, because hey. you just ran away from me, boy. Huh? You run next to him, dog. <laughs> Remember, he's, he's, a, he's an amphibian. What? I think. <laughs> what do you mean I ran away from you? Bro, Bro I'm so confused. Yo, Bro. Bruce, don't say anything. Please don't say anything. I want to see if I can win this. <laughs> <laughs> do you know where I am? Uh, I got no, you. No, I don't know where any of you guys are. This map oh! is so hard. This is so weird. <laughs> Did you know where Wrong. I was, though? No. No, I have no idea. I will hear. Wait, Bruce. Wait, here, I'm going to go back there. Hold up. Where? I got you, dog. I got you, man. <laughs> There's literally so many places to hide. <laughs> I don't even know where you guys are. This is not even entertaining. Don't worry, doggy. Oh, this is like right in front of your eyes. Oh my gosh, Nathan. Are you on the roof? Are you blowing up the roof? No. Nathan, turn around. Why? What? Dude, Did you he's check right. This hay You're looking at it right now. What? Right over here. Over. Oh my god. What? I'm going to build a castle for you. I'm going to build a castle for you. Oh, I see you. I see I you. Right okay. Here. All right, yeah, okay. I took it out on that one. All right, you guys. All right, cool. let's all blow right. this map because you right. know what else is no, more no. Than We all know how fun it is to look at noobs and straight up laugh at their mistakes, especially when they mine diamonds with a wooden pickaxe. Are you kidding me? But honestly, sometimes we can't help it to get annoyed and frustrated with every little thing they do. And let's be honest here, not everyone can be a pro like me. Am I right? Okay, I'm not a pro, but I, I am a pro. So how about today, ladies and gentlemen, we take Take a look at 31 things only noobs do in Minecraft. Now, all tools in Minecraft have a certain use. Shovels are good with sand and dirt. Pickaxes are good with stone and ores. And axes are for chopping down trees. You guys get the point. I'm sure most of you guys already know that. But noobs, on the other hand, will take any shovel, any weapon, and just try to kill an entire mob army? What are you doing, bro? Yeah. Uh, Oh, you are one special noob, all right. Now we got a noob move you're gonna really regret if you pull this off. Oh, wait, hold on. I kind of like that. It's the noob move of the day. Here is the noob move of the day. You got a bed and you go out exploring, and I mean really exploring. You go walk the world confident that nothing can stop you, and then the night starts to fall. You're too far away from your home, and what do you do? You need to get somewhere safe and somewhere safe fast, and it happens that you get the worst idea you could ever get. You just put down a bed and sleep on it. Do you know what happens when you do that? Now this noob is probably think my problems are solved. Everything's all right, it's daytime now. Uh, yeah, we're good. But there's one issue. Your spawn point has just been reduced. You can't get back home. I hope you know your way back home because what are you gonna do now, buddy? Number three. That's right, buddy, old pal, you're lost. Where's your house? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna eat? What are you gonna do? You don't know, you have no idea. Might as well be lost forever because you didn't even think of a map and why? Because you're a noob. Number four. There comes an important time in every noob's life where they face a tough decision. And that is don't lose your stuff or just completely noob out and throw out items just because uh, it's not that hard, you know? You just want to be careful and make sure to not drop your items out of your inventory by mistake. Wow. Right into lava. I, I mean, can it get any worse? Of course it can. Uh, of course it can get worse. Okay, cool. There are three rules that all noobs should know about wolves. The first rule is that they could become your best friend if you tame them. The second rule is that they always travel in packs, so there's always more than one of them, so be careful. But the third rule and the most important rule is to never hit a wolf, even on accident. Just be very cautious around these guys because, well, you're gonna get eaten alive. Good luck, buddy. Look what you did. 
first few days on a brand new Minecraft world can be challenging if you're a noob. You don't know what you need or what recipes to craft, but worst of all, because you're such a noob, you don't pay attention to the time of day. And then stuff like finding yourself far from home in the middle of the night happens and, you know. <laughs> That's, uh, you hear that? That's your cue, bro. You better go home, like, right now. Ugh, I hate those things. You know, if you weren't such a noob, you wouldn't be in this position. Which brings us to the next point. <laughs> this is number seven. Oh, it looks like you haven't learned your lesson and you're yet running away from the mobs in the middle of the night. Maybe you should just place a bed down. Also, here is one piece of advice for you, and that is you should always look where you're walking. Yep, yeah, that that's that's a really good piece of advice. I just want to let you know that that's honestly valid for anything in this universe. I mean, you should always look where you're going. Yep, yep, falling like that is definitely a noob thing to do. Maybe you should just quit the game. Actually, no, don't give up. You'll get better, I promise. <laughs> Number eight. Ah, the good old fall damage. I mean, wow, death by gravity. That's just so embarrassing, bro. <laughs> Now we all know the name of the game and Minecraft has mine written all over it. So it's kind of obvious that you need to go get ores and stuff. But before you get the diamonds, you have to find a cave or make your own cave. But one thing a lot of noobs like to do is they're too lazy to go find a cave or make a cave. So they just dig straight down. Wow. And you're doing it. You're do you're you're okay. Like you oh my and that's why you don't dig straight down, ladies and gentlemen. Can I get a can I get a round of applause? Yep. Okay. Number ten. Once you avoid dying like a noob on your way down, you'll find a lot of ores and resources that can help you a lot. But dig down any further, and if you miss all the lava, you'll hit rock bottom. Bedrock, one of the most important items in Minecraft. Not really, it's actually completely useless. Bedrock is a block in Minecraft that can't be mined, it can't be moved, nothing can be done with it. Don't believe me? Just see how this noob uh, uh, acts when he finds bedrock. He probably thinks it's the best rock in the world and he's gonna make a great house out of it. I told you, buddy, just watch yourself on the way back up and, uh, okay. You know what? Why, why am I still filming this? Now, hitting lava on your way up is one thing, but one important reason you shouldn't dig straight up is because you don't want this to happen to you. Yep, suffocation. There's gravel, there's sand, there's a bunch of blocks ahead of you, and uh, if you, yeah, yeah, this just, that's all I'm gonna say. Suffocation is a really unpleasant way to go out. Finally ready to go mine without dying so much. You have your pickaxe. The world is yours. You think you're unstoppable with your little wooden pickaxe. Oh, ho, ho, ho. but sorry for you. You're a noob and you don't know any better because you're probably going to try to mine diamonds with that wooden pickaxe. Come on, bro. You can't even harvest iron ore with that thing. Get out of here. Oh, this could be a lot easier if you had taken a second to watch all my videos. If there is something I can say to make your life better, it is not to be this guy, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh, we have one of the saddest noob things you could ever do. You got some diamonds, you got some gold, you take it to your house, or dirt palace anyway. Now you're thinking, what's better, diamond or gold? Diamond or gold, diamond or gold, diamond, diamond, ah! I mean, you've been told all your life gold is where it's at, but guys, this is Minecraft. Gold is almost worthless other than golden apples. Everyone knows diamonds are way better. Number 14. It's nighttime. All right, all right, so the sun has set, it's nighttime, and you've learned your lesson, haven't you, you little noob? But why are you just standing there? Oh. You don't have a bed. Okay, okay, all right. So what, you just gonna wait, wait till the sun rises? You know, you could craft one and sleep on it, right? Um, I mean, you would have to go find some sheep, but I'm pretty sure there's three sheep or two sheep within 30 blocks of you. Uh, it, it will turn into day eventually. It just, just give it some time. 
You're gonna have to wait a long, 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 long time until morning, you little noob. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we got a classic. Picture it, picture it here. You're a silly old noob minding your silly old little noob business with your silly old noob stuff when you see a green thingy in the distance and you say, it's the cookie monster, but it's green. Ah, uh, I want a cookie. I want a cookie. I'm gonna give it a hug. I'm gonna give it a hug. I'm gonna give it a hug. And ladies and gentlemen, the rest is history. Oh, what a blast you'll have eating those cookies. Here's another one about those mobs. We know zombies and spiders are a piece of cake unless you're not careful and skeletons can be a little bit tricky, but endermen are easily avoidable unless that is you are a noob. Everybody who isn't a noob knows that making eye contact with one of those tall Slenderman-like figures is asking for a fight. Well, that's just taking noobness to the next level. Literally, the first thing I said is the first thing he does. This guy is something else, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, classic noob move. You think caves have light or something? Sorry, bro, you're just asking to get taken down by mobs. I'm sorry, but the sun does not exist underground. That's not how life works. Number 18. Ladies and gentlemen, noobs are a thing of wonder, you know? How come you got a flint, but haven't got any torches on you? Come on, dude, what is wrong with you? If you keep doing that, you're going to, yeah, okay. And you're on fire. Um, you know. Uh, torches are the easier solution, my guy. Number 19, this one is personally my favorite. Okay, okay, I'm kind of nervous. He's back in the mine. Uh, has he got the torches? Oh, come on, dude. Check that inventory of yours. Are you kidding me? Redstone torches? Bro, this man found redstone, but he didn't find coal. How can you have those but not have regular ones? They're not supposed to be used for... Okay. You know what? <laughs> that's what you get, you noob. That's, that's what you get. Minecraft isn't only about building and fighting mobs. Resource gathering is also very important. And you know what is considered the most important one ever? Yeah, that's right. Food. Now, normally, if you're playing easy or medium difficulty, food doesn't matter too much because you don't really run out of it. But you are going to need food eventually. You're going to run out of sprints. You're going to start getting low on health. You're not going to be able to regenerate health. And while you're going around punching trees and running around for no reason at like the big noob you are, you're slowly going hungry and you didn't even know it. Buddy, 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 listen, your health won't regenerate unless you have food. Food. It's kind of like real life. You don't eat, you don't have energy. You'll probably die a lot quicker than usual. Yeah, you better start looking for food, buddy. Like, now. Number 21. All right, all right, all right. So we found a problem. Your hunger is low and you're almost out of hearts. But don't freak out, buddy. You got this. You already know you need food and you know that probably killing a cow or a chicken is gonna get you that food. But you shouldn't eat everything you find. You need to find a good source of food. Oh no, what are you doing? Don't, don't do that. Are you crazy? You can get poisoned, buddy. That thing, that thing literally says rotten flesh in its name. Come on, there is a better way. Okay, good, good, good. It, it looks like you're starting to get it. After some raw chicken, you need to cook it. Only a noob would try to eat it. Oh, dude. Are you kidding me? You're so lucky it doesn't kill you. But that zombie can. You guys know what's important in life? Breathing. That's uh, kind of a big deal, you know? If you don't breathe, you don't live easy as that. You need food, you need breathing, you need, yeah. But you can try saying that to a noob and he'll probably try to find more air in Minecraft. Take this noob as an example. No turtle helmet, no water breathing potion. He is just going at it and now he's too deep to get out. What a noob. So you know how to get ores, you know how to smelt them, you even know how to make a diamond sword, and you think to yourself, yeah, there's no way I'm a noob now. Well, I'm sorry to burst your bubble, buddy, but if you don't make yourself any armor, you are a noob, and soon to be one that dies over and over and over again. One of the worst things you can do is build your house out of dirt blocks. Yeah, that's right, dirt 
blocks, bro. Oh, come on, buddy. Get out of there. Stop embarrassing yourself. Ugh. Now that you're not much of a noob and you've learned that diamonds is the best, but let's face it, diamonds is the best when used for the important stuff like pickaxes, swords, and armor pieces. You don't really need a diamond axe, but it is a fancy thing to have. But never, never, ever craft a diamond hoe. That is just a waste. No, wait, what, wait, what, what did you just do? Okay, this is too much. I can't even, I can't, I can't, oh my gosh. No, 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 stop that. That's bad, 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 bad. No, hold my biscuits. I cannot believe what I just saw. Okay, now you can start planting your crop. That's a good idea, you know? Really effective so you don't starve. You make the right type of food. Now you need to give it some time and in no time at all, you'll be making some bread. And wait, wait, no, don't do it. Don't, don't, don't step on it, don't step on it. Oh my gosh, come on, bro. That That's your own crop. You're literally destroying your own food. What is wrong with you? You're you're still stepping on it. Do you not see what you're doing? Do you look down? You're you're just the worst. You, you're oh my gosh. Number twenty-seven. What? What is this? Is is this a noob tower? You know this is pretty uncommon. I mean, sometimes you don't have paper for a map, which is okay. I understand. So you want to get up there and see what's around, you know, but. Want to know what's really newbie about these kind of towers? Noobs not even knowing what the crouch button is. When they're up there, they just fall off really easily. It's, it's really dangerous, you know? What the? That one was close. Imagine you're surprised when after a ton of walking on the desert with nothing but sand, spiders, and sandstone for the eye to see, you notice something in the distance. Oh yeah. That's a temple, but it has some cool stuff in it too. So you decide to go inside and check it out. And then you go in there, break the blue square. Next thing you know, you fall down and you're standing on the best block ever. And the next thing you know, ba 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 Kaboom! Number 29, this one's a good one. <laughs> Good morning. The day looks great. It's perfect to get out and get some stuff done on this beautiful day. There is a thunderstorm out there. Wait, 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 what, what are you doing? You can't go out like that. You're gonna get hit by lightning. You, wow, wow. You know there's a difference between brave and dumb, you know? And get this, thunder isn't the only thing you should worry about. Thunderstorms make things go dark and can turn things into bombs. Yep. Just like that. Run, noob, run! I shouldn't have to say this, but here it goes. Lava is super dangerous. It's dangerous in pools. It's dangerous when coming off walls. It's dangerous when you get it in a bucket and it burns down your house. And don't even get me started with lava moats. It's more of a hassle than it is needed. So stop that. Don't mess around with lava, you noob. Unless you're dropping it on your friend's head. Honestly, that's kind of funny. So you accomplished quite a bit. You made it to the nether and you're somehow overcoming your crippling noobless and made it in there. And you actually didn't get killed by the mobs or all the lava that is a danger in there. Well, good for you. And now you want to build a house. So, um, what's that you're using? Netherrack instead of dirt, huh? Boy, oh boy, I bet you really upgraded, huh? Come on, you noob, snap out of it. Why would you even want to build a house down here? Wait, wait, is that a bed? Oh, you you really should have. 